Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We are back in Captain of Industry. I'm gonna hit pause, just take a take a look around here and see what we're uh, faced with, what we need to work on. See a couple things I believe in red here up in the top right. We've got not enough maintenance. That's uh, one we're all familiar with. If we've watched <laughs> if we've watched any of my series, you're familiar with the not enough maintenance message up in the top right. In fact, there's a way to just to kind of Dig your head in the sand, and that's this little bell icon here. So we'll just minimize that, make that problem go away. And then we've got another issue here where it says 289 seconds in queue for our trucks. So we need more trucks. I think towards the end of last episode, we may have queued up one to be built. I'm not sure. It looks like maybe there's just an excavator being built. Maybe our truck already got built. Let's see how we're doing. Water should be fine, right? It's raining now. We've got our water collectors fully stocked up with water. We've got three farms that don't have a lot of water, but I believe if we get enough trucks, these guys will um, transfer water to the farms. We've got our water facility, which is fully stocked. That's generating unity for us. So we're looking good there. Our water collector, that'll probably fill up. It's a 25. We've got two workers available. That's not a lot. We may need to turn on the old beacon. We've got iron production. What did we do? We started working on copper over here. I can see this is still building. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. We're researching basic diesel. We can see that top of the screen. So I think we're moving along. Now this copper production, we've got a charcoal burner set up. That probably needs a truck to supply wood. So we definitely need the trucks. Let's just see what's going on here. Okay, waiting for material delivery. Quick build, we're not, okay, rapidly speeds up construction. Missing materials are instantly delivered without waiting. The displayed cost might be higher in case some materials are not available and need to be acquired. For Unity, so you can still use Unity to kind of create materials out of the out of the thin air. I'm not crazy about that mechanic, so I'm going to try to get by without leaning on that if I can help it. All right, let's see this guy. I guess we should raise the priority of the uh, actual blast furnace here first, because the metal casters don't really <laughs> have much to offer. Okay, it looks like we brought some wood over. Got a truck nearby harvesting wood. We're getting some coal generated. Charcoal. This smokestack, I forgot there's actually a set of recipes. Okay, by default, it's got them all picked, so that's good. Still need some materials on our blast furnace, and we don't have the... Let's see, we don't have the excavator yet. Or, um, we're a truck for the mine, so we definitely, we're definitely going to need this stuff. Tell you what we might want to do, and I can see now we've got 12 workers short. Power looks good. Let's turn on the old beacon. Food's at 84 months, so we might be okay. Kind of nervous. I'm always nervous about food. Let's see. Okay, research complete. Basic diesel. Let's go ahead. I'm going to pause and pick another research. I'm pausing because I just don't want to miss uh, a problem that uh, is festering. So I'd rather like take my time, look at the tech tree, and then <laughs> know that I'm not going to have not, some problems not getting worse outside my doors here. Let's see. We've got construction level, construction parts two. That's probably not urgent yet. Let's do this loose material storage. It says a one. I'm guessing that's kind of gonna, gonna go pretty quick. Now I'll unpause. We need our big concerns right now. Big concerns right now. Our maintenance parts. And getting vehicles going for copper production. We got three warnings. Let's see what they are. Maintenance Depot has no recipe selected. Let's go do that. Now we've got some 
pure copper on hand. So we're going to choose that initially. And then eventually we're going to switch over to the impure copper once we've got our copper mine going. So we've got some trucks that need maintenance here. I'll go ahead and put my head back in the sand. Boom. Let's check the beacon. It should tell us what we've got. We've got 16 refugees coming in six months. Hopefully they'll bring some material with them. It'd be great if they brought a whole bunch of maintenance parts. Food looks okay. We got 142 meals, I guess, and that's 82 months worth. Again, we're keeping our fields at 100% fertility, so that should do good for us. We're now producing diesel. That's another thing we need to do. Did we research that yet? We did. We can start thinking about that. Now, the challenge with jumping on the diesel production is uh, building materials, right? We've got zero. So that's going to put us just a few shy of what we need. <laughs> zero is going to just make us just a hair shy of what we need. All right, that's construction materials. Obviously, that's got nothing. We've got four iron plates. Production is slowing down because we've got trucks that lack maintenance. We've also have trucks that drive all the way across the map to get their gas. That's another problem we got to solve as time goes on here. We'd love to get copper production going. Waiting on 12 more construction materials for our construction parts for our blast furnace. Got unit storage there. We got a worker shortage over here. We'll see how we do. We'll see how we do. Two months before we get some more workers and maybe a little bonus uh, set of supplies. How are we doing over here at the ironworks? We've got... Looks like things are moving. We've got plenty of iron. We've got plenty of coal. So that should keep moving along pretty good. And that will get us the iron plates that we need too. Maintenance is being done over here. Looks like we need some wood for that. And trucks are going to be an issue for us. I'm not sure if this is showing me that the pickup truck is currently being constructed and then the excavator. I think that might be the case here. We got the rubber, we got the diesel. We just need those iron plates to be delivered. And that's all part of this truck shortage we're seeing here. Okay, we got our research complete. We can keep this moving forward. This is not going to uh, impact us negatively. Uh, looks like, we, well, how is that possible? We can only do one more. This guy is locked. I wonder... Oh! This guy is locked on, if I remember right, is this guy locked on us getting the offshore oil rig or something? Not sure why that's showing locked. Oh, no, it's locked here on the construction parts. There's an arrow going down for that. In fact, all these are locked. We gotta do this. So they're pushing us in that direction. Let's get that going. Hop on out. We get our refugees? We did. What do we get? We got 38 copper, some rubber, very little iron, and we got a little bit of diesel, so that's good. Uh, let's pop the beacon off, see if we can get by without it. Again, the more hungry mouths we bring to the island, the tougher it's going to be to uh, keep everybody fed. That said, we're still short workers. I might go one more batch. We've got room for 180, and they're coming in small groups, 16. Let's let it go at least one more cycle. We'll hope that the food holds out, and then we may use some of those people who come to work on a new farm. And maybe we should get that constructed just to be safe. What's our? St we have a storage cap here on food, I believe, too. Okay, we can store 200 in, in the uh, food market here. We've got 134, so we've got some headroom there. Probably more an issue of trucking. I may build 
another farm, and I may do it. Trees in the way. Can I pull it off here? Yeah, looks like I can. I'm going to do that. Research complete. Loose material storage. All right, well, we're going to dismiss that. Trying to conserve construction parts at the moment. But eventually we may want to put loose storage here in front of our iron mine. Maybe the same thing over here in front of the, uh, the copper kind of production line. That way we can store up the ore and keep our excavator moving. Once we get the excavator, that is. Let's see. Did we get our truck? Not yet. I'm not going to do the quick build. I know we can. Don't like it. I'm going to wait. Iron plates. What is holding this up? Now, it looked like last time we came here, they had plenty of stuff. Full output. That's our problem is trucking. So that's holding us up. Where can I even see that? Something doesn't make sense there. Full output. Is it the slag? It's the slag not being picked up. We've got the dump site. It's just a matter of having trucks available to take that slag. That's what's holding us back. I don't know if there's a way to prioritize that and say, hey guys, take the slag. Looks like we got a truck that did it. See, he's got a load of 20 units of slag. He's going to put it in our landfill over here. That's going to slowly build us a ramp, which we'll need. We'll make use of it. There goes some iron. As those iron plates get produced, hopefully we can uh, buy them to the production of this pickup truck, and that's going to help us. Let's see. We need copper. Looks good. And diesel looks okay. And rubber looks good. So we should be able to get maybe another pickup truck. We definitely want the excavator for the copper mine. This is probably going to back up yet again. But every batch of plates gets us closer to pulling out of the little kind of slump we're in at the moment. I wonder what this is here. This is an interesting little lump of rock. And nothing's going to happen in our copper facility until we can get the excavator over here. We've got the mining area set up. We just don't have any vehicles assigned. We've only got three trucks, spare pickup trucks, hauling materials. So that's why we see this back up in the queue. How are we doing on the refugees? One more month. The farm looks like it's ready for workers. Let's go ahead and set the crop cycle. We'll do the same kind of thing. Potatoes and then the manure cycle. That just keeps the fertility up. We talked about that, I think, in a couple episodes ago. That should give us a little more peace of mind with the food situation. Looks like our research lab is stalled on workers. Here come the refugees. 16, we got 40 copper. That's good to see. And again, a little smattering of other supplies. All very good. We're still short one worker. We've got the extra farm. Maybe we keep this going. <laughs> Maybe we keep the beacon going. No, earlier I was talking about trying to not keep that beacon going. It's just more miles to feed. All right, we got one of our trucks. Now we're working on the excavator. We've got the diesel. We've got the copper. We just need those iron plates. Tempted to actually do another pickup before this. I don't know if we could... We've, we're we're going to need another pickup. Let me go ahead and put that in. And I guess... Whoops. I accidentally canceled, but it's probably good I did. Let's do the pickup truck first. That's going to move resources around. And then we'll do the excavator. We can see our queue now on the trucks is zero. So they're, they're kind of keeping up. Copper should hold us over for a little bit. We've got 259 that the refugees have helped uh, bring in. Everything's looking good. Unity is looking pretty good. I don't know that I can boost anything. Guess 
Yeah, we're boosting. Right now we're boosting the assembly manual, but it doesn't even have the resources it needs. Is there a max on Unity? I think there's a max that we can have accumulated. Unity cap is 25. Typically increases with the amount of housing and its quality. We could put down more housing. We don't really need it. And again, I'm trying to, I know I can use Unity for buildings. I'm trying to avoid using it for buildings or maintenance. I'm only using it for production boosts. That's just kind of a self-imposed restriction just for my own immersion. We've got the beacon going. I'm going to try and get one more batch. Four months yet. Foods holding out pretty good. Just waiting on that iron, really. Iron plates. As long as these guys can keep getting that slag out of here. Look, it's starting to back up again. Hopefully these trucks can take it out. Okay, that guy just picked up a load. Over to the landfill it goes, and our iron production keeps moving forward. We need more iron ore. That's another truck thing. Here's our truck. He'll pick up some iron. Hard to know. Now all of a sudden we got this backup of 135 seconds in our queue. Not sure what causes that to oscillate so wildly from zero to 135 in just a couple seconds. Maybe it's these uh, farms all needing water all of a sudden or something. How we doing? Okay, we got another pickup truck out on the road. We're working on the excavator. Let's let this thing run because we do want to get that copper mine going. All this stuff here is just basically doing nothing. We're generating some charcoal, which is good. And the blast furnace should be supplied with this. Let's take a recipe. It's going to be copper. Maybe that'll open this up to getting stocked with at least the charcoal. There's our item storage. That's done. And we're making some maintenance parts. That's good. We're going to quickly burn through the copper that we have. Because everything's going to be chewing up maintenance here in the background. We won't, we won't really notice it happening. But our supplies of copper are just going to start dwindling along with iron. How we doing? We could probably, yeah, we can't really ramp up. I don't think we can really ramp up our iron production yet. I'd like to get the copper at least operational. And then maybe get on diesel. That's the, that's the next thing that's going to kind of sneak up on us. In fact, we might want to start laying that out right now. Let's do it. We've got oil pumps here and there's a ratio to this. Let's see. These aren't cheap as far as the, um, the amount of construction parts. Let's see. Where is the output in this? It's kind of, I'm having a hard time seeing where the little output board is. I'm going to guess it's on that side. Let's just go. It looks like, okay, there it is up front. Let's do this. Let's do one. And let's get the basic distiller. Get one of these put down. Kind of away from where the deposit is. A little bit, excuse me, out of the way a little bit. And that guy's going to need, I think, is that coal? And this guy has, oh, he's got wastewater, so uh, we're close enough to the water. We could probably leave that as is. Okay, we've got our new refugees. And they gave us, again, more copper, more rubber. That's all good for vehicles and more fuel. I'm going to hit hooray, and we're going to turn it off now. We're at 144 population. That's got to be, we got to make do. 
with that for a bit. Did we get our excavator? Let's turn off the overlay and we'll get back to the oil in a second. Not yet. Still waiting on iron plates. We need about, what is that, 64 more plates. This guy's doing his job. We'll probably add another pickup truck or two. Let's read the tutorial on the diesel. We're just about to do this, so let's read through this. Pretty short. You can produce diesel by distilling crude oil in a basic distiller. There are limited underground supplies of crude oil on the island. To extract the oil, build an oil pump on top of an oil reservoir. And you can see the oil deposits denoted with black bars over terrain by toggling the resources overlay in the bottom left panel. It will also appear when you start building the oil pump. Okay, that's kind of cool. Later in the game, you'll be able to find oil resources on other parts of the world map. In order to get them, you'll need to use your ship and explore the surroundings. So we got to get around to uh, repairing that. Waste products. Diesel production is not a clean process. It produces toxic liquids and gases. Gases can be released via a smokestack. And liquids can be dumped in the ocean with a liquid dump. Be careful as pollution may affect the health of your population. Into the water with the pollution. Nature's filter. All right, let's, uh, let's see here. I'm joking, by the way. Um, hum, 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 hum. I wanted to see the ratio here. So 12 crude oil every 20 seconds, right? This guy's going to put out three every 20 seconds. So I think we need four pump jacks, right? To keep this thing moving. These aren't cheap. And I'm going to rotate these so we can run a pipe in between them. I like this, I think. Boom. And then we'll do another two of these guys. One just like this. And another one right up next to that guy. We'll rotate it. I think we'll be able to run a pipe down the middle. Hopefully. We'll find out. We will find out. Let's turn off the overlay. I can get this lined up best I can. Oh, you don't have that option. It comes on by default. Let's just come up top here then. All right. So yeah, we're going to try and run a single pipe right through the middle. Matter of fact, we can do it right now. Or we'll try it. Pipes. Ink. Uh, we guess we could hook in down here. Boom. You hook in there. This guy can hook in there. You can hook in there. I think we're golden. I think we're golden. There's our oil. Now this guy, I think, is going to chew up some power. Most likely. Although I don't see that indicated here. Okay, we need... What else do we need? We need a smokestack. And we need a place for the... Exhaust. Smokestack is here. That can go pretty much anywhere. I'm just going to have it hug the building. I've been doing that lately. I kind of like that approach. Boom. And then we'll just pipe that. Again, we don't even need to pick the transport. We can just click on the output here. Boom. Boom. And it picks the transport for us automatically. In this case, it's just a uh, pipe. Now we got the wastewater. We saw this before. Let's do it again. Where would that be? Services? Wastewater, where are you? Huh. Where, what am I doing? Not the tech tree. Great guess, but not quite. Liquid dump. All right. Right into the ocean. Nothing to it. It's just easy solution, right? To all our problems. Pipe. Didn't need to pick the pipe. Uh, where is the port? There it is. Boom. Oh, you know what I should have done? I could have elevated that pipe. I don't think we're gonna have trucks driving around here anyway through this middle area, but we could have elevated that pipe just just for looks and good practice. But I kind of forgot. So not a huge deal. There's our excavator. Let's not dawdle too much. Let's get to mining copper. It's going to be important. I'm going to assign a pickup. Just one for now. 
Okay, construction is complete. Let me pause because I have a couple of things I want to do without before I forget. Uh, let's get another pickup going. Let's see. Food looks okay. Population's getting a little high. We've got 13 free workers. That's good. I think once these uh, oil pumps spin up, that's going to chew up some of those workers. We're okay. We've hooked up the wastewater. We've hooked up the smokestack. Diesel, we'd like to get into a tank. I don't... Did we get a tank? Yeah, we did. Let's, uh, let's get this piped into a tank. In fact, we can cuddle up pretty close here. Uh, just like this, I think is fine. And then again, I don't even need to select that transport. I can just click here and boom. I like that a lot. That's a new feature in the game. The diesel is, I believe, fully ready. The only thing we don't have nearby is coal, but I think the next mine we're going to make is this coal mine here. So let's hold off on doing another charcoal burner. Worst case, temporarily, they're going to have to haul some charcoal from one of these coal makers. We've got two on the map right now, one down here. So worst case, for the short term, they're going to have to truck it over here. Super inefficient. But again, I think this is going to be the next mine we work on, and that will provide coal very convenient to that location. All right, let's go tech tree. Let's see what's next, what we want next. Conveyor belts, that saves us on trucking, which saves us on fuel. Fuel station saves us from having our excavators travel the whole map to uh, refuel. Irrigated farms, that's another biggie. These are all really big. Now, this captain's office is new. And let's see, population growth increased by 50%. I don't really want that. And then plenty of food. Food consumption increased by 30%. I'm not sure what. I'm not sure what this does. These are both negatives to me. Food consumption increases. Maybe these are policies that you can put in place if you want, like a policy in place. We're going to hold off on that. I'm a little nervous about that one. I'm sure it's pretty cool, and I'm reading it wrong. Conveyor belts, very compelling. Ship repair, very compelling. All of this, very compelling. I'm going to go with the irrigated farms. Let's get that going first. That also will save us trucks delivering water to our four farms. I'll hit play. We queued up a pickup truck, so we're good there. Diesel is at least configured. We've got 107. So hopefully this will all come in place. I should high prioritize the actual distiller because they'll make the tank and the pump and the waste and everything but the uh, most important piece will get made first. So let's do that. Copper is underway. It's not great. We talked about putting dry storage up. How are we doing on parts? I think, I think it might be worth doing that. Let's do it. That's storage. Loose storage. That's kind of what I mean. Boy, 20, 20 building parts. Not crazy about that. Let's put one here. Uh, we want the outputs. Wait a second. Um, what am I missing? I'm missing something. There we go. There's the outputs down that way. Let's do that. And we'll set this guy to... This is going to be iron. And then I got to get... Con the conveyor belts maybe we'll research next. I think this makes sense to do. Hopefully... These little dry, um, loose storages, I should say. You know, one would typically have coal and one would typically have the ore that you're, uh, you're processing. So in this case, it's going to be copper ore. Ooh, what were the other choices? Um, 
Metal scrap. That, we're done with metal scrap, I believe. Rock sand slag. Yeah, I don't know why we would... I guess you could store slag. I'm guessing this is the output for the slag, this thing. I don't know if there's a factor for that or a transport. We've got some more stuff to do. Our unity is almost maxed. Probably need more trucks. Yeah, we do. Uh, what are we waiting on? We're waiting on a few more iron. And then we'll probably... Let's queue up another one. Okay, I think we gotta get those. I think that's kind of slowing us down. We're researching irrigated farms. We don't have the beacon on. Food looks okay. This guy's on its fertilizer cycle. How are these guys doing? They're also on a fertilizer cycle. We could build another part of our village. Um, let's check on diesel here. Yeah, that's going slow. We need a bunch of construction parts for this. Tons, right? 30 for each one of these. And what we're going to do, we've got some limited oil reserves here on the island. We're going to actually try and conserve, conserve this once we get out and exploring and we find oil off the island. We're probably going to try and minimize this and actually treat this deposit of oil as it's as like a uh, big storage tank for us. It's kind of our strategic oil reserve, but for the near term, we're going to burn it as fast as we can and create diesel because uh, we're going to need it. There's our first warning on low diesel. We're down to 74. Low diesel, global supply of diesel is critically low. You're at high risk of running out of diesel. Okay, sounds like we're low on diesel. When all your diesel supplies are depleted, all vehicles and diesel generators will stop working. Without working logistics and electricity generation, your economy will halt. Make sure that you have sufficient diesel production and that you are extracting enough crude oil. You can boost an oil pump by using Unity which will not only speed it up, but makes it work without the need for electricity. Okay. That's another one of those, uh, kind of using Unity for magic, which I'm just not crazy about. I understand why it's in the game, but it kind of feels a little like a crutch. Um, and for me, it's just a little immersion breaking. I don't know why it bothers me, but for some reason it does. Eventually, we'll want to scale up probably to two of these uh, iron mines or iron processing places. I mean, this one's not getting overstocked with iron, so even if I had another one set up right now, all it would do, in my humble opinion, is slow down all of our development, right? Because we'd be waiting on machine parts for all that stuff. And as it is now, our single little pickup truck and excavator can't keep this thing fully stocked. That's why I'm holding off on that for now. In fact, I'll probably get coal up here, uh, the, our coal mine up and running before we do that. In fact, that's probably not a bad thing to spend some time on right now. Let's put down our mining designation. We've been wanting to start flat to grab this surface deposit first. At least that's the approach I'm taking on this playthrough. So I'm going to just do a big, long area here. Giant mining area. And then we'll go ahead and place our, our uh, control center for the mine. Not sure what the arrow is meant to. I guess that's where the uh, region's going to start. That region is what I'm talking about. Okay, we're covered. We've got a truck. I'm tempted to do yet another truck, to tell you the truth. So let's see. Truck is 20 iron. Iron, we're okay, right? We've got the mine in place. Everybody's doing their thing. Flag is the holdup. But truck's going to consume diesel. Diesel is being produced. I'm going to do a truck. And then I'm going to do my excavator for the coal. 
that's my strategy. We'll see if it's successful or just an absolute total failure, which it could be. We're waiting on six more construction parts. Then we should be producing diesel. And then we'll be not, we won't be in the clear. Trust me, we won't be in the clear on diesel once we get this up and running. That's going to be an ongoing thing for a while, as is maintenance parts. We are mining copper. Let's see how this looks. That's our smokestack. And what are we doing here? We're getting the impure copper out. Then maintenance we've got using the pure copper. Let's change this over. Turn off that and let's go with impure copper. It's not quite as effective. But let's just see how we do. We've got 359 maintenance parts, 468 now. Let's see if we can get by on the impure copper for a while. I don't even see that in our inventory. These guys are kicking out impure copper. We've got 32 sitting there. This, is this set up? Nope. Let's make this impure copper. And then eventually we got to get those belts researched. We're still doing irrigated farms. Oh, I wonder if I could boost the research lab with Unity. I'd be okay with doing that. Where did we put that thing? Over here. Odd spot. Nope. Can't boost it. No longer boost. Research lab. We could put another one down, but it's going to chew up eight hungry workers. Once we get irrigated farms, I think we're going to be able to run some pipe through here. In fact, we could start thinking about that right on now. We've got the ability to have tanks. Where are they here? For our water. We're going to... Uh, our pipe system which our pipe situation isn't great. I'll show you why. Let's do. Let's do this. Got a tank here. Another tank here. These are 20 each, I think. Is that right? 20 each, something like that. Three tanks. And then we can just hook these guys up. I don't know that you need more than one. Oh, is that not going to go in? Yeah, which scared me. Okay. Then we're going to do a little routine. Kind of like this. Uh, I guess we can pull this out. Let's see. Do something. Oh, not quite. Let's make it look a little better than that. Can't. Something like that. You can pretty much see where I'm going with this, I imagine. Then we might even do, pretty sure we're going to hook water in over here. Let's just wait for that research to complete and then we'll, uh, we'll figure out what to do. I guess I could connect up to that one. Let's do it. Hoping that connects. That, hard to tell. We'll find out. Yeah, I think we're good there, right? We might decide to put a little tank in here. Ooh, we should probably, we should probably lift this up, right? Um, maybe we don't need to. Well, let's see how many trucks. I don't think we're going to have trucks driving around here once we're done. But we could have elevated that pipe. I kind of keep forgetting. Really a big deal, I don't think. All right, our truck got built. So we've got a, a bit of a fleet now. That should keep our iron going. The slag should be nice and empty. Looks pretty good. Copper. Are we getting any copper? That is supposed to be impure copper. Did I not select that? There we go. 
thought I selected it. I must have picked the wrong one. These have 20 in inventory. They might be backed up. Not sure. This guy say full output or something. Nope. Missing input. He was waiting on, I'm not sure, coal, I guess. Yeah. We do have charcoal here. We might need another truck doing trees. How's our diesel? Are we producing? We are producing. We've got 10. Let's prioritize this tank. That way we can ensure that this thing keeps running and we don't run out of diesel. We're, we're down to 10 diesel. We're probably going to have to bring in refugees just to shore up our diesel. Because again, this is one of the key challenges in the game is diesel. Super easy to run out. And uh, when it goes, it seems to go pretty quick. We get a lot of trucks driving a lot of miles here on the island. That's part of the issue. Okay, research complete. Irrigated farms. Let's open up the research and quickly get to fuel station. Let's do fuel station. Maybe that will help conserve fuel by not having these excavators running all over the map. We've got this guy prioritized. The next 20, hopefully the next 20 construction parts, 17 more, will have that tank going. Ooh, we need to get the wastewater too. Now, I don't know how big of a tank he's got for wastewater, but that's not hooked up yet either. That's going to be kind of a deal breaker if that's not working. We've got one oil pump. That's fine. We could even kind of quote unquote overclock this with the Unity. We've got plenty of Unity. In fact, I think we're at the, we might be at the limit. In fact, I don't know where the Unity is being spent. Let's take a look. Seems like we should be accruing. Plus two. The research lab's taking a half. The assembly's taking half. Oh, we got that boosted. Um, do we need this boosted? Not really. It doesn't have the supplies, right? Uh, let's... Hmm. I guess we'll leave it boosted for now. We don't need the unity. I kind of like to boost this pump jack, but he has a full... Guessing he's got full output. Yeah, full output. This guy has full output. Not sure if it's the diesel. It must be the diesel. Still waiting on parts. Should all be running. What's this guy waiting on? He's waiting on coal. I need to assign another. No, he's got this guy's. Oh, let's boost the uh, charcoal production. Boost that. Here comes 20 more wood. Wait, does that burn 20 in a shot? Okay, we're running out of diesel. That guy's out of gas. We may need to bring in more. I'm going to turn the beacon on. Not crazy about doing that. We got our irrigated farms. They're not a whole lot of use to us yet until we can um, get these tanks created. I guess I could run a pipe up to this guy. Let's do that. Uh, do you have a port on you now? Oh, no, we have to click and upgrade these things, I think. What's that take? Oh, man. 40 of the new construction parts, and we don't even have that built yet. Surprise, surprise. That is an unwelcome, extremely unwelcome surprise. We could be in trouble here when it comes to diesel. Yeah, 
Yeah, we still have this truck here. This is just out of gas. I don't know how he gets refueled. We'll see. Our ship, can we unload the fuel? No, I don't think we can. Doesn't have any. Nope. Well, that'll be a bummer if this ends quick. Hopefully we'll get enough diesel to hold us over. I guess the next priority is going to be this guy. Let's, can we make this a priority? Let's do it. That could back up our little diesel production. How are we doing? Missing input. This guy needs more coal. I tried to overclock the coal, but I think we may be running out of trucks to deliver the trees. I'm going to go ahead and remove the boost. That's not helping us. May need to assign another truck to the tree work. Let's do it. Let me assign that guy to tree harvesting. See how much gas he has. I'm not sure. Not much. Oh no. It'd be in trouble. That's what we want to stop at the fuel stations. That's why we're researching fuel stations. We've got this guy is gonna drive halfway across the map. And he's gonna get stuck too. He's probably gonna run out of gas. Okay, this looks like it's pumping. We got 18 diesel, 23 now total. Let's overclock the pump here with a boost. So we've only got one pump jack going. And then this guy, hopefully we'll get this constructed. Oh man, 20, 20 construction parts. We got the beacon on, we'll keep our eye open for new population. Hopefully they'll bring some stuff with them that we can use. Here comes some more construction parts. We need 12 more. This is probably going to back up on wastewater, I believe. I don't know if it's filling the pipe or what. I'm kind of surprised I don't see like a little amount here. Accruing or accumulating in wastewater. Yeah, there's two now. Bill says it's just missing an input. Wants the oil. We've got that kind of overclocked or whatever. This guy's out of gas and there's gas like right walking distance. Go grab a little tank. Walk over there and get your gas. All right, let's wrap this one here. We made some progress. It's a little sketchy right now with the fuel, with the diesel. We are producing it, but we need this waste dump. We could... Pipe it somewhere. I wish we could pipe that into a tank. That would have bought us some time. We'll just see. This guy's got a full tank. This guy looks like he's maybe trying to fill up, but there's not much left for him. Okay, he filled up. We'll just see if we can pull out of it. Anyway, let, I'm going to pause it. Let's wrap this one here. Uh, for now, this is GliderCat signing off, saying thanks so much for watching. Enjoy having you here with me on this, what, third season, I believe, of Captain of Industry. Tons of fun, never easy, always precarious, and uh, we'll see if we pull through this time. We've pulled through quite a few problems in the past. We'll see if we can do it here. Our big problem right now is diesel. Pretty common problem. But uh, we'll see in the next few episodes if we can pull it off. I'll see you then.